guys, it's Moose. I've got a little haul video video for you today. Video, I keep doing that. Every time the word haul and video are together, I want to say video. I don't know why. So let's just go with it. Let's roll with it. So it was my birthday recently. Um, I didn't get a whole bunch of stuff. Some of this I bought myself. Um, just, you know, I saved up for a bit and just decided just to buy it because you'll see, you'll see. Um, most of it is from, I went to the Stanley Kubrick exhibition on my birthday. Um, I was so excited that this exhibition was on around the same time my birthday was because Stanley Kubrick is like one of my favourite directors ever. Um, it's not just the fact that he directed one of my favourite movies ever, which is The Shining. I, I also love Clockwork Orange, I love 2001 Space Odyssey, I love Full Metal Jacket. Um, I really want to see Eyes Wide Shut now. I didn't know that was a movie that existed until I went to the exhibition, but I really want to see it because the little bits I saw looked really interesting. So let's start with that bit actually, because it's the mainest part of it. I have a couple of um, posters, so one of them is of The Shining. This is my favourite Shining poster. I love the one with Jack, with uh, Jack Nogerson in it. But I love this bright, obnoxious yellow. And I love this hand-drawn uh, uh, graphic design here. And I think this is just as like, ah, The Shining. So I'm really excited about that. That's awesome. Um, the other poster I have is from Clockwork Orange. Um, Clockwork Orange is, again, one of my favourite movies of all time. I also really love the book. Um, and I've kind of been wanting a poster of the movie poster for ages, way before I knew about the exhibition. But I couldn't find anything I liked. But this is some like original airbrushed artwork by one of the people who helped Stanley with some of the like poster things. It's really cool and I love it to bits. So that's gonna be framed eventually and hung up somewhere. Um, so next thing is actually a tea towel. Um, but I'm going to make it into a cushion cover. Um, but isn't this fucking sick? I love the shining carpet so much. <laughs> I love how 70s it is. I love it to bits and bits and bits and bits. But um, I thought it might make a nice idea to make this into like a square cushion cover. Because I'm not going to use a tea towel. I actually don't like using tea towels if they're from something because they just get fucked up by everything so don't do that but yeah make a square cushion cover and then maybe use this bit to make a coin purse or something but yeah i'm excited about that the next thing that got kind of spoiled for me was i did see this on their website before i went and i was like i'm not gonna look at their merch anymore because i'm gonna get too excited about it but it's the same poster then the tote bag for oh my god! And I kind of wish I'd bought two of these because I'm terrified it's going to get ruined, even though it probably won't. But I love this so much. This is sick. Um, I love tote bags. Tote bags are so useful. So this is just like the best thing that could have been there. And actually, I kind of almost bought another tea towel so I can make a tote bag out of the tea towel material, but they were a bit expensive, so I ended up not doing that in the end. But I think that would have been a good idea. So then I got like a myriad of badges, just like, just like little round ones, you know, kinds that have little safety pins on the back, but these are really cool as well, so a lot of them from The Shining. Okay, we won't focus, but this one says all work and no pay makes Jack a doll boy, which is cool. Uh, I'll actually insert some pictures and some, maybe some video of these items, just so you can see it better, but that one got the carpet it has the shining this one has got a picture of Alex on it from Coca Orange drinking the old Moloko which I think is awesome uh, this is my full metal jacket stuff with this jacket pin um, what I don't, didn't like about the merch is that I love the shining I love Coca Orange but I kind of wish there was a bit more there wasn't that much 2001 Space Odyssey and that wasn't that much full metal jacket there was like a tiny bit from there but not loads uh, this is like obviously my favourite one Red rum. <laughs> it actually says murder where on my screen, which is funny. And it's just a simple clockwork orange one. But yeah, I love them. I am a bit obsessed with badges and patches, so that's like perfect for me. 
Cool, yeah, so I also got a couple of like postcards, which I'm not sure what to do with it. I might frame them, um, but that's Danny in The Shining. That's the two creepy, creepy twin ladies. And I got like one, because I actually love this poster as well. Um, this design, this airbrush design, I love as a lot, a lot as well. So that make like a cool, maybe I'll frame this and put this somewhere in here, because um, it's a bit smaller and a bit like brighter. Right, so that's everything I got from the Stanley Kubrick exhibition, um, which was sick. And I didn't go there just for merch, not at all. Actually, the exhibition was really good. It was actually fantastic, really well curated. And I think it's going on till September. So if you're in London and you're into your movies, even if you, you know, you're not big on Stanley Kubrick or don't know much about his movies, it's still worth going because there's a lot of background to do with how they make the movies, how he constructed some certain parts, special effects in the movies. Um, he was very a very meticulous filmmaker um, and he comes across a bit rude, but he's treats his actors really nice. He was, he was awesome. I, I loved him and he lived in um, St Albans for the last part of his life, which is where I live. So it's kind of weird. It was kind of weird going around the exhibition and seeing some of the plaques and like descriptions saying St Albans or Hertfordshire. I was like, that's that's where I live. <laughs> so yeah, that was sick. I, I really, really enjoyed that. That was great. I'll do something I bought for myself. Now, I've been wanting a pair of Buffalo uh, sneakers for years and years and years. Ever since sort of I knew about them, I wanted a pair. Um, that I've had massive struggle trying to find pairs online that are in my size. I'm a UK eight, um, and for some reason I just couldn't find any that were in my size ever. I'm not sure why about that, but yeah. So I found these. I think I found them on ASOS, but they weren't in my size, so I looked somewhere else. I think I've gone from Office. But these are like the Buffalo, I'll find the name of them and put them on screen. But these aren't like the big, chunky sneakers that you get. These are definitely like the smaller, more practical kind. Um, I've worn these a bit because <laughs> I did sort of let myself have them a week before my birthday. But they are, I'm at. <sighs> I cannot rave to you enough about those that specific pair of shoes. Um, I was fully expecting, like I do with all the shoes I order, to buy them and then wear them around and kind of like pretend that they're comfortable and actually they're fucking my feet up. But this is the first time I've bought a pair of shoes in a while, like an expensive pair of shoes, but they fit me and they're comfortable and they don't feel like they're going to fall apart. And I'm so extremely happy with them um and what i like is that they do have like a little platform on which makes them kind of big chunk bit chunky but they're not so obnoxiously chunky that they're gonna get in my way of like just walking to the shops or post office or whatever so they're fantastic i love them to bits and bits and bits and uh they're cool so the next thing my boyfriend got me, and um, this was a complete surprise. He, I think he knew I wanted this because I must have linked it to him at some point, or he saw it on my Instagram. But is this mushroom bag? Oh my god! Um, isn't that so cool? It's actually a really awesome bag as well. It has like a bit at the bottom here where you can just zip it off and have a whole new bag if you wish. I will show you. Oh my god. What? A whole new bag. It's got a zip through the middle. But then this becomes like a bit of a smaller rucksack. It's so good. Like, I'm really impressed. Um, it's actually really lightweight as well. Like, it, f it feels slightly flimsy, but it doesn't feel like it's going to fall apart. I think it's better for it to be lightweight and it's a such a huge bag as well which is perfect for my life because I travel back and forth with my boyfriends quite a lot and I need like a biggish bag to sort of carry all my junk in so it's perfect and it fits loads of clothes in there as well loads probably like more than a week's worth of clothes if you wanted to do that it's amazing um, now this next present as well this is from my boyfriend's mum uh, this took me 
by complete surprise. I think it was on my Amazon wish list. I have, this is like something I've been wanting for ages as well, <laughs> but it is the Halloween tarot card set by Kipling West. And um, tarot card reading is something I used to do loads. Um, I used to have, I have another deck which I like, but if I'm being biased, this artwork on this is like so much better. Um, it's much more up my alley, much more my thing. I'll show you some of the cards out of it. Here's the moon. I've been pulling this on a lot recently. I don't know, don't know what's going on there. Um, I do have some card sleeves on them at the moment because I play Magic the Gathering and I have to protect every single card piece of paper that I own. Um, but I actually would recommend get if you use your tarot cards a lot, I would recommend getting some card sleeves. Um, but I have been doing some, there's death, good old death. I have been doing some tarot card reading on my Instagram to kind of like break this deck in. Um, because pumpkin man, just, just as pumpkin man. So what I've been doing is I've been getting people to ask me questions about their life or whatever and um, I'm going to be, I shuffle the deck thinking about the question and then I pull one card from the top um, and interpret that however I feel fit to. Um, but it's actually, look at the tower. I want this tattooed on my body, I'm not even exaggerating. Um, there's one that I'll see if I can find, which I actually legitimately am planning probably getting tattooed. <laughs> I just need to find an eyes I think will do it justice. Which is harder than you think. Like, I think I'm just picky, but I think you have to be if you're getting a tattoo. Where is it? Oh look, the fool's cute. I love his, I love his, um, thing. There it is. Yeah, this is probably my favourite card in the whole deck. It's got a good meaning as well, it's about rewards and being kind to each other. Um, Six of Pumpkins is so cute though. But yeah, if you're interested in maybe some tarot card reading, maybe either it, if it be on YouTube or Instagram, send me a message. Um, I know a lot of people charge tarot card reading, but I feel like I'm not confident enough with my skill again yet to be able to do that for people. So I am completely finding some stuff for free. Um, it's just a bit of fun really, I don't take it too seriously, um, I don't think that the meanings of the cards are very literal or I don't feel like the stuff in them are, is all going to happen because ultimately you're like in control of your own destiny. But I do think that they can help you think about things or can help you maybe picture something you didn't have in your mind before. So I think they're a good useful tool for meditation and all that. So I'm just doing character card If you're interested in anything about it, let me know. I might do some stuff about it. Um, okay, so I have a pretty hefty haul from Disturbia and I wasn't sure if I wanted to do this in a separate video but I think I'm just gonna do it in this video because it's not interesting enough to make a separate video. It's not like massive. So the first thing I got from Disturbia, they were having a three for two offer on which is wildly good if you're buying like a 30 pound t-shirt um like um, if you're buying three 30 pound t-shirts for example you're getting like 30 quid off that's legitimately a good deal so i haven't bought from disturbia in probably about five or six years i remember when they used to do like t-shirt prints that were very scene kid very emo-y um, and obviously they've gone down a different style route but um i've always admired their like t-shirt designs and i'm really not like a big graphic t-shirt wearer like i find them tacky most of the time but i like these ones these ones are like up my alley enough for me to want to wear them um but yeah the first thing i got was this really awesome like choker necklace thing um, it does, I was worried it wasn't going to fit, but it does fit. It's really cool. Um, I really like the way it looks. Um, and the bit at the back, though, is a nightmare to do up. I might change this. It's one of those really, really tiny, loopy rings, and the chain isn't really big enough too easily to like slip it through. But I think it's cool. 
So I think it's awesome. And it'll just stay on your neck that way, so it doesn't really matter. So I bought basically all t-shirts. Um, now, I bought these t-shirts mainly for the prints. Uh, I kind of wasn't bothered about what sizes I was ordering because nine, in fact, 10 times out of 10, if I'm buying t-shirts, they are too small for me. Um, I am quite small on top, so I have not, I don't have very wide shoulders. I don't have very big boobs. Um, I am like a true pear shape. I am like this shape. <laughs> so most of the time, t-shirts fit me great on top, fantastically on top. But as soon as they get to my hips and my stomach, they cling so bad and it's so uncomfortable and not fun. And um, I'm planning to do like a DIY video um, on some of these uh, tops. Just so if you work like a similar shape to I am, like a pear shape, you can maybe um, do what I'm doing here and buy t-shirts in whatever size and you can alter them to fit you well. I'll show you what I mean actually, I'll, I'll stand up and do like a little try on haul for you, but this one is like, I'm on its pages. Hallucinogenic plants! Isn't that cool? Um, I'm not a druggie at all. <laughs> I barely drink alcohol, um, but... I, this appeals to me in so many ways. It's creepy gross plants. It's mushrooms. Um, I just think it's cool. But this this is tiny on me. This is a medium. It fits me. This is what I mean. A medium t-shirt fits me great. On the arms. On my boobs. Perfect. And it just doesn't fit me anywhere else. <laughs> Which is fine. T-shirts are cut straight, so it does make sense that it wouldn't fit me, but it's just frustrating. Um, this one also appeals to me largely. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Satanic behaviour! Oh my god! This is cool. I love the purple. Um, I love how edgy it is. It's a long sleeve. I, I don't know if I'm going to keep this long sleeve or not. I have tried all of these on. I like long sleeve T-shirts, but... They're, it's much less likely I'll wear them if they're long sleeve, even in winter, because I like kind of layering. But it does have these cool, um, I can't remember what these are called. If someone knows what these are called, let me know. But it has these cool designs on the sleeve, which I'll probably, act, if I do end up cutting the sleeves, I will cut out these designs and maybe stitch them on the back. But they are on both sides, so maybe this could be like a cool patch or something I could sew onto something. But yeah. That's satanic behaviour. Uh oh. Uh oh. What are those teenagers doing? They're, they're being satanic behaviours. Oh my god. So this is an older Disturbia design. I can tell because I've seen it around a lot and it's printed on a much grosser and not very nice material as the others. Like it's much more stiff. It feels like a very, very, very cheap Gideon t-shirt. Um, it's just not my favourite. The other ones are really soft, like the rest of them are super soft. But it's one the one that has the bat on it in the castle. What does it say? In the shadow. In the shadow of a Transylvanian morn. But yeah, this is definitely come printed on the kind of material where I know it's going to crack. I just know it is which is kind of frustrating. Um, here's the back, just earlier. Um, I got these in an XXL, I mean, Children of the Night. Children of the Night. I think, what does it say on the other sleeve? Under the shadow of a Transylvanian moon. But yeah, if, if I could get them in an XXL, I could, but this is what I mean, like a, a 2XL fits me great on top, but it still clings to my hips like mad. It just it makes me look so weird. Um, but yeah, that's that one. Like the next one, this one makes me want to laugh. This one's great. It says, hate your life, try astral projection. And it's got this man on it. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Um, this one also has like long sleeves with these, these things I can't remember. There's something to do with like chaos magic. I can't remember. Please, someone please help. But I may, this may be the one that I keep long sleeve. But this one also is too clingy on my hips. 
Um, but yeah, that one's cool. Now this next one is weird because this is also an XXL. Uh, but it's the only one that sort of I can probably get away with just wearing by itself. But I'm still gonna I'm still gonna DIY it to make it bigger. But it's this it's like plant themed again, and it's got this poisonous plant on it. This one's awesome. Um, I really like this one. This one's good. That was my um, mini disturb your haul within a haul. Um, look out for a video of me DIYing those t-shirts to make them bigger and fit me better because I think it's it's quite a simple and useful way to make something like that bigger without ruining the integrity of the t-shirt. Um, so yeah, look out for that video. There's only two things left. Oh no! So, my little bro got me a blush bath bomb called Magma. Is this a boy? Is this Magma Reboy? Smells amazing. It smells like cinnamon and Halloween and clothes. I think it's definitely made for people who like have bad, who do a lot of exercise. <laughs> That's just me. <laughs> who do a lot of exercise or like runners or achy, achy muscles. That's what I'm trying to say. It's for people with achy muscles. Um, the last thing is from me mum. Um, she got this from a market in Norwich. So I think this is from a small business. Not sure who from. Maybe they're called to coin a phrase, but it's this little moon made out of like an old penny. Isn't that so cute? Anyways, that's it. That's everything. Um, thank you so much for watching. Keep a lookout for that Disturbia t-shirt DIY video. Um, and let me know what you think about anything in the comments. Um, and see you later, guys. Bye.